Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not finished showing you how I replaced my brake lines. But since this process has a lot of different steps to it, I'm breaking it up into bite-sized chunks so that hopefully you can find the stuff that you want to see and not have to sit through the crap in between. The brake lines are held on with these plastic retainers. The, uh, the lines go into these little slots right here, and then these are held to the underside of the car with these bolt ends that are sticking out here, that is completely rusted out. I've got a plan for fixing that. Here's my solution. I went to Harbor Freight and I got this threaded insert riveter kit. And what this does is it allows you to rivet in these rivet nuts which are threaded on the inside. The way this works is you have your riveting tool right here and you take your appropriately sized nose piece which is uh, this one for the small size and this thing this thing actually counter threads on which is important to remember when you're trying to take it off if you try to turn it counterclockwise to get it off, you're only tightening it. So, yeah. And it uh, comes with this little wrench thing, which uh, to tighten, you turn counterclockwise. And then you put this little piece right on over top. That one screws on normally. And then you take your rivet nut, screw it onto the nose piece, you uh, drill a hole through your work piece, and then you squeeze the handle like this, and you see, you see how it ballooned out there, so that little bulge there will hold your workpiece in. And here I can even I'll screw it on a little bit more, do it again. And it'll get even more extreme. So you squeeze and Yeah, look at that. You see how it folds onto itself and that that fold would happen behind your workpiece, which would hold this in place. And then you unscrew the riveting tool. So you take the tool away. This would still be in your workpiece. And now you would be able to put a screw or a bolt into that. I also bought this set of stainless steel hardware. My plan is to be able to put these in the underside of the car and then attach those retainers with stainless steel screws. I should be wearing a face shield. Instead, I've got hot cinders going into my face. I'm not a role model. Huh. There's some of my carpet. I probably should be checking to see what I'm drilling up into, but I'm not. Okay, I've got my hole. I'm going to try the riveting tool. Put the rivet into the hole. Squeeze. I'm actually going to give it a second squeeze. So I'm going to tighten this down. Second squeeze, unscrew it. There we go. Okay, so look at that. Yeah, it's a nice little thing that I can screw into. I'm gonna go do that a bunch more times. So that was it. 
That is how I used a hand riveting tool to insert rivet nuts into the underside of the vehicle. So if you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, an alternative to replacing the studs on the underside of your vehicle. Yay!